what's going on thanks for tuning in to this video right here now i do want to get straight to it because i've seen a lot of youtube videos that have really long intros and i'm just not about that i just want to give y'all the info straight up so here we go so the sony x85j i've got the pleasure of having two of these i have the 65 inch right here in the living room as you can see and a 50 inch over in the man cave slash game room uh, first, I got the one in the living room, the 65 inch, and I liked it so much that I had to get one for the man cave as well. Now, yes, this is a next gen TV, meaning that you're going to get 4K at 120 hertz as long as the device that you connect to it supports it. You're going to get HDR10 support. You're going to get the Google TV system, which means that it's going to be compatible with Amazon Alexa and the Google Assistant. Uh, you're going to get two 2.1 HDMI supports with eart connection as well so you're gonna get all that good stuff the good thing about this tv is well to me the good thing about this tv is that it's not an oled no yes oled is gonna get better resolution but as you can see in this video i'm trying to show you different lighting and i didn't record at night because obviously any tv will look good at night with no light obstruction right so I wanted to do this in different lightings with the blinds open. You'll see in a second here, I turn on some red lights and green lights over in my man cave because I got those smart lights there. So I just wanted you to get a full feel of what it would look like. You're gonna have people coming over. You're gonna turn your lights on. You might wanna watch the ball game with the homies when they come through, whatever it is. So I just wanted to make this a realistic uh, review. So that being said, being that it is an LED TV, it works better for me because of that. And I mean, it's a lot cheaper. I, I I cannot, in my right mind, spend more than like a thousand dollars on a TV. At least at this point in my life, I don't know. I just I can't I can't see myself doing it. Like the 65 inch in the living room only costs about a thousand bucks with taxes, and I got the 50 inch something like 650 with taxes, right? So a lot better than spending something like 1500 for a 50 inch. I don't know. I just. I can't see it. If you got it like that, go ahead. You know, it, it is what it is. But, you know, in, in my personal experience, as you can see right here, I mean, look at the colors, right? You know, for it to be an LED TV only, I just, man, like, it looks really good, right? And I do a lot of things on here. As you can see by all this footage, I game, I watch content on Netflix and Hulu and YouTube and all of that. Uh, you know, when my wife and I, want to watch you know netflix or something we'll come over here to the man cave you know we have the 2.1 surround sound system it's not the loudest but it gets the job done um my kids mainly watch the tv in the living room right i only had one issue with it something like a screen tear was going on in the living room tv and all i had to do was reset the tv and it went away um i've had it for about six or seven months something like that and other than that, I've had zero issues. Would I recommend you buying this? Absolutely. I think you should definitely go for it. And to any of you watching that are wondering how I got these TVs mounted onto the wall, I'll go ahead and list the products down on the description. I got them on Amazon and I got the same kit for both TVs. You got the wall mount. It goes onto a wooden stud. I am in Florida where they use drywall, but, you know, just use a stud finder. And the kit comes with, you know, concrete mounts as well. It, you're going to be set no matter what wall you're going to put it on. As far as the cable management kit, that's more for, I think, drywall uh, walls. If you have those in your house, you basically got to drill a circular hole, you know, close to the cables up top on the TV. And then you fish them down to where you'll drill another circular hole right next to the outlet. That's what I did luckily because i have drywall but if you have concrete i doubt you can do that <laughs> but anyway i appreciate you guys for watching i try my best to give you guys all types of shots with different types of lighting just so you can get a real uh, a real review and a realistic uh you know example of how it would look or it might look on your house uh, i really hope that this review was helpful if you found it helpful do please consider subscribing i do like to upload uh, gaming content as much as i can but i appreciate you very much have a great one